Hello, my name is Abe and welcome back to Into the Breach. I think I'm gonna go with Buildings Immune for the next mission because if I do the Marshall District mission here where we have to take less than three damage and protect the coal plant, we have tidal waves, so knocking enemies around is going to be important and there's also this like line of buildings between the mountains here which might be a little bit difficult to defend. So being able to knock an enemy away from the buildings with Buildings Immune active might be super important. I wish that we had a better ability to toss enemies into the drink, but I guess the judo mech can stand in the uh, in the back line, toss enemies into the tidal waves, and you know, hopefully we will be fine. Let's do it. Let's give it a shot. So with the hornets, I mean, first of all, that sucks because the hornets cannot. That's so bad. <laughs> Such a bad start. The Hornets cannot... Three movement, this is fine. Um, what am I trying to say here? The Hornets cannot be drowned. The Leaper can, but the Leaper is probably just gonna go for a building. In fact, most of these enemies I think will go for a building initially, unless I give them another target. So we might want to push the uh, siege mech up a little bit to give him another target. But I want to be able to hit the buildings to push hornets off of them. So it's kind of an awkward situation here. I guess I could also use the grav mech to push, or to pull, I should say, a leaper off. So why don't we do something like this. Kill the leaper if it attacks the judo mech. If the hornets attack, we just move. And we're in line, or we're in close enough that we can throw enemies around. But this is, um, this is interesting. I hate that we have hornets and a leaper. Give me fireflies, give me scorpions, but a hornet and a leaper, ugh. Kind of annoying. And they're going straight for the buildings, you jerks. But we have buildings immune. We can knock one of the hornets into the other hornet pretty easily with the siege mech. And in fact, we might just want to open up with that because it is essentially a kill. probably want to position myself here because I want the siege mech to guard these buildings or to at least have the ability to guard them. The problem is this doesn't kill the hornet and I can't kill the hornet with anything. Not even the judo mech. Like the judo mech if I toss the hornet around would work. Oh, that's what we do. Aha. I can't get into a position where I need to make the shot. Damn. Because if we position the grab mech here, we can suck the leaper into the hornet to kill them both. But then what are we gonna do about this hornet? Because I can't actually hit where I need to hit. Actually, no, I can. I can make the hornet run into my shield and die. That's, it's, it's a freaking terrible turn. <laughs> but I think it's what we gotta do. So we can kill everything. That's an interesting method for the grav mech. Everything dies, everything's safe. We lost the shield, big whoop. Three enemies are going to spawn. I just gotta try to knock them, toss them into the drink. Perfect. See, that's what I like to see more of. Stupid aliens. Now, unfortunately, you know, the the grav mech can't pull into the drink. I wish that he flew. I really wish that this grav mech could fly. Ah, we can we can block a spawn with the uh, the scion. The scion will heal one one. All other vec will heal. He won't heal one HP. Lovely. In which case, what we might want to do actually is. Um, Shoot here, because it will block a spawn, kill the scarab, but we won't take any damage. We can fling the leaper into the pit. The Scion won't die, but if we pull him first, then he will block a spawn. Okay. We, we will take damage by doing this. We'll take one hit on our grav mech, but I think this is what we want. So let's pull him. Toss you into the drink. We're not really like, oh, he will die because the scarab will shoot him. Lovely. Uh, but the scarab will live on one HP. But you know what? That's acceptable.
We're not really making the enemies hit them. Oh, he's gonna hurt him, hurt his friend, killing him. <laughs> it works. <laughs> but he's not gonna block his spawn. That's okay. We're not really making enemies hit themselves too often, but I'll take it. Okay, Judo the Scarab to death. He's already dead, so I can't Judo the Scarab to death, but I can pull the Scarab and we can very easily just hit the building, preventing the Hornet from doing anything. And her getting the kill actually doesn't really matter all that much. I would rather get the kill... Well, the only unit who can get the kill is the Judamech tossing the Scarab into the drink, so this is fine. We take one hit of damage, it doesn't matter. Yoink! Then I guess we just end turn. It's a it's an all right mission. I never felt like we were in a advantageous position, but I guess it worked. The aliens are all dead, and it was a much faster mission. But I I like the um I like the tidal wave mission. It's unfortunate that we had two hornets, but uh, it's okay. Defend the tanks. I think they have one or two HP. I like the fact that we can use the tanks after they wake up. And I really don't want to do the dam and kill seven enemies. I don't think we can destroy the dam. I, I'd have to um, swap buildings immune for plus one damage and then shoot the dam, which we could do. We could do, and then we'd have water and we can pull, pull enemies into the drink and then push them into the drink. You know what? Let's give it a shot. Plus one damage, one shot from the siege mech. Siege mech will break the dam, and then we can just keep the Judah mech on this side, toss enemies into the drink, keep the Gravwell mech on the other side, pull them into the drink. Let's give it a shot, why not? Kill seven enemies. Can we kill seven enemies? Hopefully we have like five turns. Ugh. Yeah, plus one damage. Let's do it. Two leapers, four movement each. We're not building immune anymore. Have to be careful. Four, one, two, three, four, he could. I think we wanna do like this. And maybe like this. There's only two units attacking, so actually, I want them here. I want them. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. They cannot hit the siege mech. I want them to attack me, and then I want to dunk them. I can dunk them in one turn with the siege mech. Just move here, shoot the dam. Dam's dead. Leapers die. We can kill the blood scion with whatever we have. We can, you know... Position the judo mech in front of him and then grab well the, the blood scion into ourselves or something. I don't know. I think this is what we want. Have to destroy the dam as quickly as possible. Hopefully the time pod doesn't come down. So I knew that was probably going to happen. We can pull him into the drink though once we destroy the dam. What is this goo? No time pod, unfortunate. So, I mean, I think our first turn is just drink them. The dam will die. Uh, this Vec will die. We can pull the other Vec into the drink and then we can, I guess, just stand over here and toss the Blood Scion over to the other side. Doesn't really do anything, but... And I don't think we can... I don't think we can get one of the leapers to attack the Scion at all. Not if we're destroying the dam anyways. Could we do it? Could we do it? No, because we would have to stand here to toss the Scion over to this square and then the Alpha Leaper would have to attack him. I think we just, we destroy. I think we just destroy. Destroy the dam. 
pull him into the drink by moving back one, stand over here, flip the blood scion. Okay. We're not letting them kill each other, but I don't think we can let them kill each other. Plus one move? Maybe plus one reactor. That would be ideal. Oh, he's dead to the fire! I didn't even think about it! I didn't think that the, the unit landing would create fire, but I guess it does. This is ideal. Now, my siege mech is in a little bit of a tough position, but she can still help with the buildings over here on this side. You know, put the scarab into the drink, that sort of thing. And we can kill the hornet by putting him in the fire. It's the best. Now, our grav mech isn't doing anything, which makes me think that maybe I want to maybe keep the siege mech over here on this side and then just use the grav mech to pull the scarab into the drink. One, two, three. He can do good pulling. And we can do sieging on this side. I like this because we have our angles covered. Grav mech covers from this side, siege mech covers from this side. Let's try to keep our positioning in mind as we are doing this. And you are not doing anything, but that's okay. This looks like it's going to be an okay mission. That's a problem because we can't hit that position. Wow, you're gonna hit a building. Wait a minute. <laughs> no, 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 no. We can do this if we push the Scarab back into a position where he's attacking his friend, but he's not attacking first. What the hell, game? I've got all these artillery units that I can't fire over water. <laughs> we don't have building immune, so I can't actually kill this guy by shooting the building. I would do three damage to my buildings. This sucks. <laughs> I hate you, game. I literally can't hit the Hornet. I can't, I can't, I cannot hit the Hornet. If the Grav Mech was on the other side, yes I could. But this is like worst case scenario here. I, I can't, I can't hit him. I can't hurt him. I can't push the Scarab down because the Scarab is going to die thanks to having two damage on the Siege Mech. And the Grav Mech can't do a damn thing. Because it's just freaking waterlogged. Well, this is really annoying, actually. I hate these mechs. <laughs> Why did I pick them? Should have picked the frost mechs. Ugh. Like, I can't even, I can't even deal with this guy. Can I not deal with him? No, I can by moving the judo mech over to the, other, to the other side. Can I seriously just not deal with this hornet? I gotta pull, I gotta shoot, which I can't land a shot on that square, and I can't punch you. And I can't push you without killing you. Drop the upgrade, just, Take the reactor power out of the weapon! <sighs> this is annoying. I mean, I guess if I flip the hornet onto the forest tile, it will burn. I don't see any other way. I mean, we have to, we, we're taking grid damage, I think. I think there is no way that we can kill this Hornet due to the, uh, the positioning that's going on here. Might want to position the mech a little bit further up, I suppose. <laughs> uh, if I had the siege mech here, I could do it. If I had the siege mech here, I could do it. I'm just way too far behind the uh, field of battle. And the grab mech pulls, it doesn't push. 
I guess I could pull the scarab onto a spawn. Ah, uh, well, I mean, this has to be done. Pulling one. No, I probably should keep my units a little bit more separated, shouldn't I? So let's kill you. Two enemies will spawn, but we can probably handle them, hopefully. Just wanna make sure I can kill enough enemies. I, I mean, I guess we're doing it right now, so I should have probably um, blocked a spawn, but you know what, this is fine. <sighs> That's so frustrating. I, I didn't see another out. Just lost grid damage for no reason. Well, no, the reason is I didn't keep my, my units positioned in such a orientation that I could properly defend. And the same thing is happening here. I can't stop the Alpha Hornet. What the hell? It's gonna do extra damage to the Alpha Hornet. Oh, what the hell, game? One, two, three, four. I toss him into the water, he's gonna do two damage to his friend. But I, I still cannot hit the Alpha Hornet. The Alpha Hornet's gonna live, and he's going to destroy two more grid power. No, yes. Yes, he will, because I making this move pushes him. I hate this. I hate this. And my grab mech, again, just he can't do anything from this position. I should not have taken this damn mission, that's for damn sure. <laughs> oh, oh. I, I mean, I can't stand in the water. I can't pull him. Well. If only the Scarab was attacking on this side of the map, then maybe I could use him. But I couldn't move him without him dying unless I pulled him, and pulling him would just pull him into the water. Mm. Well, that sucks. I guess we are just going to pull the Scarab. We're gonna drop him into the drink and I guess just not do anything else and turn we're gonna take two grid power damage two grid damage and again just because of the dam being here there was no way around it I should not have broken the dam that early I should have waited I think man that is a frustrating mission Plus one, plus one reactor power. Might as well go into plus one damage. We still have the option of getting a perfect island at least. Now what do we want? I mean, I tell you what, I want buildings immune because not having buildings immune kind of screwed me a little bit there. Not fully because I don't think I was gonna have the angle to knock enemies off of buildings anyways, but good lord. Making bu buildings immune just makes it so much easier to actually do things. <laughs> uh. Movement of four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. Probably want to stand. I mean, I want the leaper to attack me. Probably something like this. You have three movement. This is acceptable. Yeah, it's acceptable. Ay, 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 ay. Okay. Having a little bit low grid power is not that big of a deal. It's just annoying that I haven't really had options to prevent that damage, you know? 
Well, I can already tell that this sucks. I can kill two enemies. I'm not going to kill the Hornet, unfortunately. I can pull the Hornet so that he kills his friend and then block a spawn. Because I do want to try to kill this Hornet. And we can do it if we pull the Hornet leader over. No, we can't, because by shooting the building, it's going to knock the Hornet away. We have to pull the Hornet leader twice, which we can't do. So... Attack order is Hornet leader first. We could just kill... the Leaper, then pull the Hornet leader over one, then he will kill his friend before he has a chance to attack. And our mech can just hang out and not do anything. Block a spawn. Make it easier for the next turn, potentially. Just making sure the attack order is right. I don't want to mess it up. Is there a... Wait, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Because I could do damage to the Hornet leader. Why is this only doing one damage? Right, we didn't upgrade it. Right, 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 right. We can do one damage to the Hornet leader, put him into a position where he's killing his friend. But then the only thing I could do after that is pull the Leaper, which doesn't do anything. It doesn't accomplish anything, because he's still alive. I want to kill the Leaper, which this does. All right, weird turn, but we're doing what we can with what we got. Get him closer. Guess you don't do anything. Okay. We will have two enemies on the next turn, including the Hornet Leader. We've got to make the enemies attack the Hornet Leader somehow. Which we can kind of do here, actually. Ooh, it's so close. The f oh, fire might kill the hornet. Fire's gonna kill the hornet before it can attack the, the hornet leader or block a spawn. Man, that's terrible. And this, my siege mech is now not in a position where it can hit the mountain pushing the hornet leader out. Good lord. Okay, we could toss the Hornet leader into the water. We could pull this Hornet forward one. Nope. We can't knock him to the left. We'd have to shoot him. But again, I think this is going to kill him. I guess we could block multiple spawns using the Hornet Leader, and that's probably what we're gonna end up doing. Okay, undo moves. Oh no, we have to move you first. Oh, okay. I'm worried that this is going to kill the Hornet, but honestly, you know what? If it kills the Hornet, it kills the Hornet. It's not gonna kill the Hornet. We're gonna take no damage, though. I think this is still an, an okay turn. We block all of the spawns. Hornet leader is taking a hit. Next turn, we can just punch the shit out of this guy. <laughs> Hopefully. We only have two more turns to kill him, and we're doing one damage a turn. That's pretty subpar. We're breaking ice too. Oh, you son of a! Ooh, I hate you. I hate you so much because I can't reach him. Ah. I do so little damage. 
with the judo mech. Can I even kill this guy? I don't know. Well, you've, you've got to get hit. And I think you've got to get hit again. This will break the, uh, the shield, but I'd rather have the Hornet leader closer to the center, I think, of the map. You just heal. You pull. Do another damage to the Hornet leader. Good lord, the Judo mech sucks. Does so little damage. And everyone heals. Oh man, luckily they're not doing an insane amount of damage, but this is still not good because my grav mech is going to die and the only way I can save him is by not killing the Hornet leader, but then we don't get the the bonus, the perfect island. I can kill him. I can kill the Hornet leader and we won't take grid damage, but I have to use both the judo mech and the siege mech because we just do no damage. Just hit him, just, you know, toss him and then hit him and then shoot him. But then the grab mech dies. Even if I repair, it's getting hit for six damage. Good lord. No. Four move, there is a way. There is a way to save the tank. Because the tank can pull the Hornet leader into the Judo mech to do that one point of damage that's needed to kill. And that way we can use our siege mech to, uh, to get the kill. Maybe multiple kills? Probably not. Undo moves, undo moves, undo moves. I mean, if we can only get one kill, let's only get one kill. Because the Leaper's on. Oh, he's not going to get the kill unless we push him away from my mech. Like this. But then he's not going to die. One hit will destroy the ice. Okay. Okay, we have to damage our tank to move him away. We can kill the Scion though, that's gaining us a little bit of XP. And then we can move the tank, one, two, three, four, pull the Alpha Hornet into the Judo Mech, killing him. And we will get through this mission without taking grid damage, but good lord was it close. We really need to buy as many cores as possible because we do no damage. Buildings immune is very nice <laughs> on the artillery, but uh, I don't know. I hate the squad. But we did get the perfect island. We did lose three grid power, I think, on that damn mission, which we should not have gone on. Fires a projectile that flips a target's attack direction. You see, that's that's what I was thinking out of the judo mech. You know, flip him around you and switch, switch his attack direction or something. This might be interesting to pick up. This might be good to pick up, in fact. Do we have a science mech? I don't know. Gain one extra reset turn every battle. Every battle. That is horrible. We don't want that. Science range prime. We could put the passive on the siege mech. Default free confuse shot. Just having like one extra ability might be super important for us. And we can get it for free. 
We'll only have eight reputation to buy reactors on the next area, on the next um, screen, once we select our reward. But I'm just gonna pick this guy and sell him for two anyways, if I would pick him up. And flipping attack direction could be very important for us. Does it often come into play? I don't think so, but you know, if we could flip the attack, well, we wouldn't be able to hit the Alpha Hornet on that damn mission, but if we could have, then we could flip his attack direction, he's not hitting anything. I wish I could see what the corporate reputation purchase options were, but I think I'm gonna take this. We can always sell it for one if we don't want it and then buy three reactor cores. And then we can very easily take Vec Hormones off, put the Confuse Shot on, probably switch the pilot so that the reactor is on the Judo Mech, because then we can give, uh, give him plus two damage pretty shortly. Let's look at the purchase options. Smoke, Targeted Strike, Aegon Mortar, plus one damage, plus one damage, and then Cryo Launcher. <laughs> I mean, this is the, we could just be the Frost Mechs. We could give this to Bethany and then she could have the shield and then she could freeze enemies once per mission or multiple times per mission. <laughs> uh, I'm thinking what I, what I would do is do that because that'll take us to six reputation. We could spend money buying two reactors. We could put the Passive ability that we have, Vec Hormones, on the Judo mech, swap the pilots around so that the extra reactor is on this mech, put Confuse Shot on the Grav mech, give the Grav mech move so that he can move around more freely, put the Cryo Launcher on our Siege mech, maybe get rid of Buildings Immune for it or something, because honestly, freezing enemies is very, very efficient at dealing with enemies. And then, we will go on to the next island. So I will make those those decisions and come back in the next episode and you will see what the, what the orientation looks like, but I just want some time to think about it a little bit more. But anyway, thank you very much for watching. Like the video if you enjoyed it, subscribe for more, and I hope to see you here again for the next mission in Into the Breach.